let's look at certain finer nuances of the interfacing design principles so the first one is that changes within the library shouldn't spill to the rest of the program as we discussed that the interface robustness and consistency comes from the fact that the implementation behind the interface changing doesn't uh, affect the user directly so the newer version of the library should continue to work as is in the user code the user shouldn't be aware of the fact that actually certain implementation changes were made so in uh, that case if your library is being used as a service where the end users are connecting to your service then they should be completely unaware of the fact that a newer version of the library has got deployed so that's where the interface being a boundary becomes most prominent as you dive deeper into interface design related literature you will find certain terms which talk about this information uh, hiding so i just mentioned them information hiding abstraction encapsulation modularization single responsibility principle all of these things point to this single idea that none of your changes uh, should spill out of your interface to the end user so that's just as a uh, general tip for you that whenever you see any of these words or anything related to these words it is pointing to the information hiding aspect of your interface design so the whole idea of interface is to ensure that only the essential aspects of your system are visible to the end user so your system might have hundreds of apis but only the five which should which are usable for the end user should be exposed to them the rest of them should be hidden from the end user so as systems become more and more complex you will notice that the public facing apis are far lesser or the public facing interfaces when i say api it is application programmable interface so uh, but interfaces are applicable in general so uh, any systems or any interface shouldn't be exposing more than necessary just for sake of simplicity of uh, delivering code because if an api is exposed eventually it will get used for the unintended reason as well you can never predict how the users will end up using it so if you are exposing it be very sure that it is by design otherwise just hide the best source to learn about interface design principles is looking at the library interface of the language which you are using so like we discussed the csv file reader right so if your language provides a library with csv file reader look at it even better is containers like we discussed the dynamic arrays the lists the trees go and look at the interface of those objects what are the guarantees they are providing are they consistent are they robust look at their evolution over a period of time and this you would be doing as a user so you know that if it has caused any breakage of your legacy code in the past because of a language upgrade you know that how harsh a decision it was right so those kind of things you can learn with your specific programming language because now you are comfortable with the language and you can understand the internal details looking at the language source code as well primarily your library should always try to avoid global variables you should be passing information through function arguments so in in case of the csv uh, file reader we were using a language c where this uh, became imminent but with object oriented programming this is very avoidable so with design patterns and object oriented programming you can ensure that you don't have any global variables your uh, variables are scoped and they have a very clear flow of information from the outside world to their states so please try and focus on ensuring that you never use global variables public visibility of data members which can be modified by the users is always discouraged so in case of the csv reader also we were returning pointers and we were giving a guarantee only uh, for a very short duration that till the data is copied the information will remain safe and that was one of the key points which was put in open questions as well that what happens if you are using a multi threaded system and those kind of things that's why that interface design example was very incomplete from a production perspective it was just about giving you a taste of challenges when it comes to designing even something trivial looking because in most languages like if if you are working with 
uh, data in Python and all, you will find a single line function which says that, okay, CSV data has been read. But the complexity that goes behind that interface is something that is not uh, appreciated. But as a system designer, you have to evolve to ask those questions upfront and understand these risks. Classes are a very clean way to hide implementation and uh, generic programming takes it to the next level. So uh, for example, the standard template, template library in C++ is one of the oldest examples of generics. Uh, other languages also provide generics like Java, Golang is also, has also introduced the generics. So generic programming should be your goal, but it is not mandatory, but classes should be your baseline that you should always hide your implementation using classes. If possible, you can use generic programming as well because there are cert certain uh, class of functions which are not applicable to all data types or they cannot be used very cleanly with user-defined data types. So that's where these challenges come in. But with uh, examples like the standard template library in C++, you can learn if at all it is possible for your code to be generic uh, eventually.